is Robin West and this is a quick video to show you how to enroll fixed RFID readers into the new Cloud Connect for RFID um, solution that we have on the market right now. So I have my beautiful uh, FX7500 RFID reader and I'm going to enroll it into Zebra Data Services uh, in order so they can be used with the different services that we have for Cloud Connect. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, update the firmware on your reader. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but uh, most of you guys should know how to update the firmware on your reader. It's in the admin menu here uh, on the reader, and you can go to zebra.com. You're going to want to pull down uh, 3.7. whatever version is up there. I think right now it's 24 is the brand newest version, um, but you're going to want to pull down that version of firmware and install it onto your reader. I've already done that with this one, but going to show you the next steps on actually getting it set up and enrolled into our data services platform so that you can start using it from the cloud. So I'm going to log into the console here on the reader. So now that I'm logged into the new firmware, uh, there is actually going to be a new menu item in here under communications. If you notice, it says cloud. If you click on that, it gives you a section here. It says your enrollment status is not enrolled and you've got a claim code um, and it's just saying you're not connected. Um, so in order to get this claim code and get yourself enrolled, uh, you have to go to the Zebra Developer Portal. Uh, that's developer.zebra.com. Uh, you do need to log in for this, uh, but anyone who is logged in can actually access the service to enroll their reader. So I'm going to go under Products and Zebra Data Services. Uh, and under the Zebra Data Services menu, um, there's a new section in here for your devices. You can enroll Zebra printers in here or fixed RFID readers using this, using this service. So in here, you'll see a some information on what it is, uh, but we're going to go ahead and add a device. And we're going to select that we want to add a new reader. Uh, wait for it to load up, make sure we've got our tenant selected in there, and hit claim token. It'll automatically select a tenant for you, um, unless you have multiple accounts that you're associated with as a certain partner, and you've already worked with us to set that up. Uh, you're probably only going to have one tenant in your list. Um, once you get to here, you'll see a claim code. We're just going to copy that out. Um, it has some directions, but we're going to go through that right now. Um, I'm going to go back in here into the reader, paste in our claim code. We do want to make sure Auto Connect is selected, and we're going to click Enroll. And uh, as you can see, it went through and not only did uh, it enroll, but it also then went ahead and connected. You can also see that by checking the log. And you can see in here, cloud connection, cloud connected. Uh, and you're all good set up in there. Uh, we can also go back to the portal, hit enrollment complete on here. And you'll now see the reader is listed in the list here, same as our reader that we have been working with. So that's how you enroll a reader into Cloud Connect for RFID. Uh, stay tuned for a few more videos on some of the different features and functionality of what you can do once you're enrolled. Mm -hmm.